Yo, what is up, YouTube, man? Today, we are talking about jelly layups in NBA 2K22. Real quick, if you guys are new, if you want to drop me a like and subscribe, of course, I appreciate it a ton. Now, a layup rating, usually that's the last thing anybody is thinking about when they're making their build. But to get jelly layups, it does have to be decently high. You have to have an 80 driving layup to get the jellies. Now, I'm going to tell you, if you do have a build that gets this high of a layup, you're in the minority. You're going to be one of the few players that can actually do this. If you're asking me, should I make a build with a high layup so I can get these different layup animations... I mean, if you like looking flashy, then you can, but in my honest opinion, it's not worth it. Just having a 74 driving dunk is way better than having a high layup. It shouldn't be like that, but you know, here we are, NBA 2K22, the life cycle is almost over. Real quick, if you guys are wondering, how do I do different layup animations with the jelly layup package? And I can sit here and tell you, you know, when you're running from the left side, flick your right joystick to the right, flick it down to do teardrops, flick it the opposite way of the basket when going from the baseline to do a reverse, tricky shots like that. But in my honest opinion, the best way to get used to it is to just go to the Gatorade facility, go to the my court, practice pushing your right joystick different ways. Now, you don't have to use the right joystick, but I do recommend it. It gives you more control of your animations. If you let go of RT and do things like double tap X, it'll give you animations as well. But you're not going to be in a game thinking, I need to do this exact sequence to get this animation. It's better if you just get it in your muscle memory. That's how I practice all of these moves that I put on. And I think that's way more valuable than me just telling you step by step how to activate every single layup animation in this package because there are a lot. But if you have any questions in the comments on how to do an exact move with the Jelly Layup package, make sure to let me know. These are the badges I'm using, Acrobat, and I'm using some Fearless Finisher, you know. Having an 80 driving layup, you think those two badges I'd be able to get at a higher level, but it's all I get. I'm also using advanced gather slashing takeover to help with things like spins, euros, something that, again, you're not going to see a lot of people have this slashing takeover on because dunking rules NBA 2K22 and doing layups is borderline useless. I mean, check this out. You are going to see in a clip coming up, I actually do get some very cool animations with this jelly layup package on. I'm a huge fan of doing the jelly layups because they look very cool and whenever you can actually get your opponent like right here I stun him a little bit do a layup I could have easily done a dunk right there but the layup looks way more flashy the problem with doing these jelly layups these euros any layup animation you put on is you don't really get rewarded for it yes if you did you know you could completely confuse your defender make him shift the other way and then get the layup animation a lot of the times you will make that but at the same time a lot of the times you will do the absolute right thing and the opponent is still gonna make you miss he's still gonna get a body block and at the end of the day man it's just not worth it from a competitive I mean check this out right here I kind of get in front of them the layup animation I mean I will admit the jelly layup it's not the greatest it kind of puts you in position to get body block like that the LeBron Michael Jordan layup packages kind of do similar things I think 2k needs to be at a point where you get rewarded for timing layups having NA is you know I tried putting time in on but it's not worth it in this game but I feel like in NBA 2k23 they can make it where if you tie the layups you actually get situations where you hit contested layup your dude will contort himself to actually make those layups ups overall i think 2k just needs to make it where having an 85 layup is more valuable than having a 65 driving dunk and that is absolutely not the case this year now i am showing you guys a lot of clips of me missing layups because i'm not gonna lie to you guys jelly layups they're not honestly that good layup packages in general are not that good this year they do get some cool you know clips you guys saw the intro you see me doing a couple other things but to end this game you see right here instead of going for layups i just do three straight back to back to back dunks and it's way more efficient way more reliable another thing too man just a funny side note while I was recording this video, I was playing a lot of people, you know, 81% players trying super hard. I was trying to get my jelly layups off on them. They were blocking me. I lost a couple games. Some people, you know, they were really letting me have it sending the message. Dudes were saying, you're trash, 1v1 me. But then one guy in particular, he said all that. And then immediately after that, he said, GG, huge fan of the channel. 
I mean, what do you want me to say, you know? It's all GG's at the end of the day, but if you see me out there doing weird things, you know, taking a whole bunch of jelly layups, you're getting blocks on me, you're beating me, you don't have to send me a message, you know, calling me trash, telling me to 1v1 you. You can absolutely send me a message telling me, you know, GG, big fan of the channel, all that good stuff, but man, just go easy on me. Sometimes it is absolutely frustrating trying to make videos like this where I was trying to just be the perfect jelly layup player, trying to see if I could make it work. Unfortunately, I had a hard time with it. I would definitely not say it worked. I did like the reverses for the most part, but at the same time, I missed a lot of them wide open. Let me know what you guys think of layups. I know there are some people that made some builds with only driving layup, no driving dunk. Ticino did that. You know, it didn't work out that well for him. Let me know if it works out well for you guys. If you guys use a different layup package that you want me to try out, maybe you think you have a layup package that is absolutely overpowered. A lot better than this one right here as I get blocked again. And this is Tonic, man. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.